Hi, and welcome to another episode of Rob's Triathlon Tips for Beginners. This will be a video about um, the triathlon watch that I have and why I recommend it for beginners especially. So a little bit of history um, before having the watch that I have. I bought uh, two Apple watches and they work pretty well, but they both broke. One I dropped on the floor once, and of course it was outside of the Apple Watch sort of warranty period, the Apple Care. Then I got a second Apple Watch, and it smashed in the most sort of innocent way while I was going down a water slide with my son. So I was done with Apple Watches at the time. And then uh, I remember checking out an activity of Paula Finley's on Strava. Paula's a, a professional triathlete from my hometown. And noticed that it said that she had used a, a Koros watch. So I went and checked out that company. And um, decided to get their sort of very entry level triathlon watch. And I've loved that watch since I got it. And in fact, I want to get the newer version, which is uh, called the Pace 2. So I'll just show you it's the website. You can see some of the features. I'll show some screenshots from my phone. And um, yeah, so let's get into that. So this is their um, Canadian. Oh, I'm not sharing my screen. Let's go to share screen. There we go sharing my screen. Uh, this is their Canadian website. This is Coros.com under products. Uh, we're going to go to Coros Pace 2. This is their entry model. And it's got all different colors and looks. And I mean, to be clear, that it can look different than this on the face. It's programmable from your phone. There are many different interfaces. You can customize what metrics you want to see on your watch. And you can even have like secondary watch faces. And depending on and you can program it. So like you want, you know, two specific uh, data interfaces for running and and two different ones for for cycling and etc you can build it to be like that so on the this one watch face while you're biking you want to see your watts and your your cadence and your speed and then you can look at your heart rate on another one however you want to program it it can do that uh, the reason that these watches are awesome one of the reasons is that um, because they're not a touch screen which is an unnecessary feature, really, when you think about it for a triathlon watch. You're not going to be playing with your watch on your on your bike <laughs> or when you're running or swimming. So why does it need to be a touch screen? It's not a touch screen. It's button operated. That makes the battery life amazing on these. So I have the Coros Pace 1 or just Pace, the first generation. And its battery life was 25 hours in full GPS mode. And I can attest to the fact that I did an Ironman in 16 hours and I still had a lot of battery life left on my watch. Meanwhile, everyone around me who had a much more expensive watch, their watch was dead. So that was pretty funny. Um, how expensive are these? I'm just gonna pick here that the type of band, let's just say silicone. You can see $279 is Canadian. So this watch is dirt cheap. And you'll see from all the features that that price is unreal, in my opinion. I don't understand how they can sell it for that. So let's just keep scrolling through here. Uh, like it says here, when this watch first came out, the Pace 2, it was the lightest GPS watch in the world. So it, I, it's definitely very comfortable to wear. Um, like they mentioned here, they dramatically improved the processing capability and the storage on the watch from the version that I have, which lets you do all kinds of neat things now. Uh, I'll scroll down to where they show pictures of it. Uh, 
uh, you can you get like a heat map now so you can it scrolls scrolls through a picture here i think this is the right one you can build programs you can build workouts you can build tabata and uh, strength training hit workouts you can include in those programs warm up times cool down times breaks in between It'll track all of that. You can just run through a program from the app in your phone. It's pretty incredible. I mean, back to the price, $279. <laughs> and then when you work out, it will keep track in the, in a heat map, uh, um, like how worn down you may be, which can inform you how you need to rest and how you need to structure your, your workouts better because you may be wearing yourself down. So that's awesome. My version of the pace can't do this stuff, but the new one can. It makes me jealous. It makes me want this for my birthday. Um, it does track your heart rate like any other watch, but to be truly accurate, you need to use a, a chest heart rate strap. Those are the best from what I understand. So I wear those when I run and when I uh, on a treadmill and when I uh, um and outdoors and when i ride my bike on my trainer this is there here swimming so i will be honest and tell you that my old coros pace was horrible at tracking swimming in a pool but perfect at tracking swimming in open water so that makes no sense <laughs> maybe it makes sense in some way but to me that's bizarre um but apparently the pace two has fixed that so don't worry about that but definitely every time i've used it in open water it's been it's no issues no problems connecting to to satellites it's perfect it creates a nice little chart of where you swam in a lake or wherever you were swimming it's yeah it works great um, Watch does synchronize with other people's other manufacturers sensors. So if you don't have a bike computer, I have used it as a bike computer. To sync up with data from like a speed and cadence sensor, for example, and it'll read it and display it on your watch, which is great. If you want to save money and not get a bike computer, you can go that path. I'll just show a couple screenshots. I took from my phone app here. So this is like April 4th, a couple days ago. It's showing I did this activity, 45 minutes. This was strength training. And it gives you an idea of how many calories it thinks you burnt uh, during the day, and how much time you exercised, uh, how many steps you made, your heart rate throughout the day, and then your sleep and sleep quality tracking so for example you can drill into those and it will show you and turn your phone sideways and it'll give you this graph and you can sort of look at this information if you care about it you can check out your sleep quality similarly you can see how much deep sleep you had light sleep when you were awake you can hold your finger over this graph at a specific time and see what was going on so it basically has you know well, the features that any other watch has but what it doesn't have is data overload like you would get in a very expensive watch from Garmin Polar or some other companies like those you'll get you pay like 6 700 dollars for a really nice watch and you'll use almost none of the features <laughs> when you're a beginning triathlete because it's information overload uh, and even as a as a sort of veteran uh triathlete you still may not care about that stuff uh, in my opinion this is an an excellent watch to get as a first triathlon watch and you'll be able to use it all the way up to doing iron man's no problems uh, some other things that I can see on my phone app that I 
didn't take a screenshot are it's got like a, a race predictor so it based on all your workouts where you've used your watch to track those workouts it'll predict how quickly you might do a marathon half marathon 10k 5k uh, and that's so that's interesting if you're trying to predict how well you're going to perform on race day it's got the muscle heat map it keeps track of your personal records you can build a library of workouts uh, you can find routes um, customize the interfaces for different workouts and you can change the look of the watch face oh and i forgot to mention that it will accept notifications um from your phone if you configure it to do so so i've set my watch up to just um to vibrate when i get a text and show the text on my on my watch so i can just you know tilt my wrist look at it and choose to ignore it or choose or choose to go on my phone and respond to it if i need to so hopefully you found that video to be you know, useful information um, and if you did, please give it a like and make sure you're subscribed to my channel and share this video with other people who may benefit from it. Thanks.